Welcome to Johnny on Energy. Today we're here in Afton, Virginia with homeowners Bob and Dibba Wilson and Paul Risberg of uh, Alt Energy out of Charlottesville, Virginia, a solar energy company. And obviously it, you can see in the background we're taking a look at their uh, solar electric photovoltaic system and kind of get you a little feel for you know what a real system's like and what are some of the things you got to think about in installation and your you know in an existing environment and just uh, get some technical background Paul's going to take us through both the solar panel installation side and also the parts that are uh, within the, the inverters and hooking into the uh, power company's grid and how all that comes together so Bob just uh, kind of briefly for the folks out there that are our uh, readers on the website uh, how'd you get into this whole solar energy decided you want to put PV and uh, you know power your house through the Sun well when we first originally uh, came up with a design for the for a house here we built this out of a forest area um, we oriented all of the roof structures and overhangs and everything on the house for the maximum amount of solar energy that we could pick up in the future thinking that we would use some form of solar energy to augment our, our energy uh, consumption or use and um, when the garage was built it was oriented with the roof the same way uh, we were we were all kind of set and ready to go when we came across an article in the Cavalier Daily uh, with Alt Energy uh, in installing a roof system or no it wasn't a roof system, it was on a trellis system in Charlottesville right. we decided to call and find out we had considered my wife had wanted to consider a turbine system for wind energy and uh, and I was kind of in favor of the solar but we were open to anything and uh, so we contacted Paul at uh, Alt Energy and here we are. All right. <laughs> and how's that working out for you in terms of uh, We are power as happy as anybody uh, could possibly be. We've had great results. It was a wonderful experience during the process and uh, the end result is fun and good. <laughs> yeah, and I know from uh, some of our little side conversations here, you're doing pretty well on uh, generating power here and uh, you know, you're not at zero. You're not a net zero user, but you've you've had days. It sounds like where you've you've seen the meter hit zero. We have taken a considerable chunk out of our electric bill, and uh, nothing could have pleased us more. It's operating well within the the uh, uh, the, the uh, systems expectations that uh, that Paul had had given us. Oh. We're very happy. Awesome. Yeah. And Paul, before we kind of jump in and. Uh, kind of get up close on the panels and some of the other stuff anything you want to share with uh, kind of a little bit about this installation and how it went and sure sure uh, in fact um, there are a lot of wind resources around here and we that certainly could have been an option for this site um, it seems like we kind of went we tried to figure out if it made what made the most sense in terms of biggest return for the least amount of money and for robust systems that didn't require a lot of maintenance and a lot of um, both visual impact um, and so because they had actually presented us with uh, the idea that we we think we want to do some energy systems we came out and looked at the site and we're so pleasantly surprised to find out that we actually have just a great portfolio of or a great canvas to put solar panels on it was actually perfect and that's typical for us so what you see behind us here is um, uh, basically our attempt to try to find uh, a system that could utilize their existing space that would fill about 60 percent, 65 percent as a target of their electrical consumption with the idea that maybe over the next 10 years they find a way to reduce their consumption and that at some point we do get to net zero but that is an original design goal that wasn't um, the idea. All right. um, the pan the uh, the panels are monocrystalline panels, which is a type of solar panel that tends to be more efficient. And because in order to meet our goal, um, we had a limited roof space. Um, we looked at a lot of different options as to what would be the most cost-effective way to get the most production on the existing space. So that's kind of helped guide us toward panel selection. Great, well why don't we jump in and we'll uh, take a closer look. Great, thanks. 